What's up guys, it's Dallas here, and today we are back for another Juice World Pixar tutorial. Today in this video, we are going to be working on filling in a few of these little uh, hole gaps here, and hopefully um, seeing what else we can do, because I'm not exactly sure how long it'll take us to get this part done, so um, we'll try to move through it as fast as possible, and if we are able to, we'll move on to... Uh, the next part okay so the first place that we're gonna start off is right around here and let's see how do I want to do this um, real quick first things first I need to make sure that we've got most of everything done around here and I believe this right here isn't right there's two purple blocks on top of each other we're gonna break the bottom one we're going to go ahead and want to grab us some magenta terracotta. I want to grab us purple terracotta just in case we need it. I want to place the magenta terracotta da uh, down right diagonal from the purpler block. Okay, I just want to go through and make sure we got everything done from before. On top of these pink glazed terracotta right here, I'm going to place this pink wool on top of both and one to the right. Okay, and I believe that's all I just want to check. Alright, so let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to place us pink concrete to the left of the pink wool that we had just placed. And then place pink wool to the left of the pink concrete. Down left diagonal from it, we're going to place us two magenta terracotta going to the left. One, two. Then what we're going to do is go back to pink wool. We are going to place this pink concrete on top. And then place us another magenta terracotta on top of the pink concrete. Uh, then from there, we're going to place us pink wool upright diagonal from the magenta terracotta from there what we're going to do is we are going to go over here to the left side I'm going to place us pink wool to the right of the bone block right here and to the right of the chiseled uh, quartz block we're going to place us pink wool we're going to go through let's go two one two to the right of the white terracotta then we're going to go down underneath the second one we're going to go two to the right at below it so one two and then we're going to go back up and go four to right one two three four okay so from there what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go up here to right of the pink glazed terracotta place one pink wool to the right and then place one pink wool down right diagonal for the one we placed to right of it we're going to place us on top of pink wool pink concrete we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab us pink concrete powder we got some right here down below and replace that on top of the pink concrete we're then going to place this pink wool to the right of the pink concrete powder and then down right diagonal of the pink wool we're going to place this two pink wool to, to the right so one and two on top of the second pink wool we're going to place this pink concrete and then pink concrete powder on top of the pink concrete we're going to go up to the pink glazed terracotta right here and we go and we're going to place pink wool to right of it and then we're going to go to one that's above it as well and place pink wool to right of that one as well next thing I want to do is we are going to go ahead we're going to go over here to where it's kind of the circle area and we're going to place pink concrete right here between the pink wool closing it off because I don't want to get to that part just yet we'll come back to it later on we're then going to go to the left uh, to left the pink wool that we just placed the concrete next to and we're place us three pink concrete going to left one two three underneath the third one we're place us magenta terracotta and then we are going to place us going down two pink concrete one two one to the left and then we're going to place us magenta terracotta three to the left one two three okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to go we're gonna place us uh, magenta terracotta. Okay, starting upright dag or up left diagonal from the magenta terracotta. We're gonna go down three, one, two, oops, two, three. We're gonna go starting from up top to left of that. We're gonna go down four twice. So one, two, three, four. Go back up to left. One, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go back up to left again. We're gonna go three, one, two, three. Okay, and then from the middle block, we're going to go two to the left, one, two, and then go down underneath the second one and go two to the left, one, two, and this is all using magenta terracotta. Okay, 
So I believe that we are done with this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill all of this chunk right here with pink concrete. And we're gonna, we still have down here, over here, on the very end, up there, and then here. I think we're going to work here next after we fill all this in. So if you want to, you can skip past this part. Um, but if you don't, real quick, I do want to let everyone know um, that I did just put up a vote video. Hopefully, you'll be seeing this um, video very soon. I won't forget to upload it. Um, I did just put up a vote video for what game I'll be streaming this evening. If you are wanting to um, pick what game, and come join us. Uh, I think what I'm doing is I'm changing up uh, games I'm streaming just to make a bit more of a variety of different games. And since I'm doing a stream every evening, it's just been Minecraft all last week. I do want to change it up just a tiny bit to see how things go. And this, and this gives me an opportunity to play some of my other games I have on here as well. So yeah, that's why I want to change it up just a tiny bit. Like for example, I have games on my Switch. But I don't play them as much because I don't use my Switch as much. I'd like to use my Switch uh, a bit, so hopefully I'll get a chance to do that and we'll do some fun streams on there as well. Alright, so we're almost done um, filling this all in. Once we get done filling this in, like I said, we want to leave this that part over there open um, because we're going to be working on that part next. We're going to move on to the yeah. We're going to go ahead and we're going to clear out our inventory. And really, I should work on the other parts first before getting this, so because the other parts are pretty similar to what we just did. But I'd rather go ahead and get the hard stuff out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab us a few blocks. We're gonna start off down here. We're gonna grab the red concrete. We're gonna grab us yellow wool, yellow glazed terracotta. Um, the oops, that, not the nether work block. The red sand, orange concrete powder, uh, birchwood plank, and it doesn't seem to be. Okay, so there's not that here. So I'm gonna grab us orange terracotta. And I believe this is almost everything we need. I'm gonna grab us an oak wood plank. Now I think it'd probably be something else I forgot to mention, but we're gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, yeah. We need to grab us um, pink terracotta. So let me do that. Alright, so we're going to start off at the very bottom left corner, we're going to place this two red concrete going to right, one, two, then place this pink concrete at the very far right, then we're going to go, and yes, I did forget some blocks, but that's okay, um, we're going to place us, hmm, orange concrete powder on top of the pink glazed terracotta right here, and then place us red sand on top of it, we're going to place us an oak wood plank to right at that. Uh, to write the red sand and on top of red sand and the oak plank we're going to place us yellow glazed terracotta we're going to then place us birchwood planks on top of the right yellow glazed terracotta and to the left birchwood planks we're going to place us two oops uh two yellow glazed terracotta and then on top of the left yellow glazed terracotta we're going to place us one more we're then going to place to the left of the red sand two yellow glazed terracotta like this and then on top of those two we're going to place this yellow wool one two and then one up on top of the left we're then going to to the left at the top yellow wool we're going to skip a block and then place one over like this okay so now what we're going to do is oh we're going to go ahead and place our orange terracotta on top of the left red concrete. And then the last thing we'll need is just simply red sandstone. And we're going to place three to the right 
of the orange terracotta so one two three like this and then we'll take our orange concrete powder and fill in the rest of this little gap right here and the only reason why I consider this the harder part is because we have to keep swapping our blocks around so yeah so the next thing that we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go ahead if we're gonna do the rest of the pretty much easy parts we're gonna fill in this gap right here with pink concrete so let's go ahead and get started on that and like I said once again you can skip past these parts where I just fill in because I'll just talk about random stuff while we're filling it in to make it a bit more interesting um so let's see oops so I'll be hopefully this evening or after I finish streaming continuing our playthrough series which I'm gonna regret so much because the game I'm playing through right now is Outlast and that is a scary game um, but if we're already done filling in we're now just gonna fill in the rest of these small gaps right over here with pink concrete just continue to do the same thing so so I'll continue to talk about this while we fill this in yeah so Outlast that's a scary game a real scary game and I'm not looking forward to it but uh, just I want to continue the playthrough series because I got a whole bunch of games I would love to continue to play through so make sure as well if you haven't voted for what game we're gonna be playing through next I've got I put up a whole bunch of games that um, we'll be playing through all right so now that we've got that part filled in we're to go up top into that little gap and we're gonna fill this in with pink concrete as well and then as you can see we've already this like just doing what we did yesterday all the pink wool and stuff we got a buttload of the background done that's where I was talking about it's easy cuz now we have all that done this is actually easier than the main pixel art itself cuz you didn't have as many spots where you could just fill it in like this like I guess real quick I'm gonna do this and like right here with some of the nether bricks and stuff you could possibly fill it in but like it, it just you couldn't fill in as much okay so next part we're gonna make sure just gonna double check that we got everything complete that we need to get complete we're actually gonna um, let's get us some white wool and we're gonna also get us pink concrete powder as well and we're gonna place this white wool underneath this magenta terracotta right here and then place pink concrete powder to the left of it or to the right of it actually we're then gonna place this pink concrete powder in between this pink glazed terracotta right here and then we're gonna grab us polished granite and we're gonna place polished granite underneath the right pink glazed terracotta right here as well Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take us our pink concrete powder. We're gonna place it to right pink glazed terracotta right here, and then up left diagonal to it as well. And I'm hoping, hoping that you can see exactly where I'm going when I do all this. I'm trying to show it off the best I can, but it's pretty hard to describe each and every individual spot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, work on the rest over here. And as you can see, we're almost to the top, so that's pretty good and let's see so we're gonna go over here to the left and to the left this pink glazed terracotta is like an open gap we're gonna place this pink concrete right on top of the wool down left diagonal from pink glazed terracotta and then place pink concrete powder on top of the pink concrete and like I said I just want to make sure that every part is finished up before we continue and I think we're almost good I do want to well and I'll hold off the rest for later on so we're gonna go ahead and the way we're gonna do this is we're simply going to go right here on top or to the left of this pink hole right here and we're gonna build all the way across we're going to fill in this gap right here up top and we're going to fill in all this below this giant gap with pink concrete and like I said this is the easiest part of all of it 
Okay, so like I said, you can skip past this if you want. Let's see how we're doing on time, actually. Okay, so we actually have pretty good timing, so I'll just have to try to figure out what we're going to do afterwards. Okay, so, uh, like I was saying before, I continue to play through series. I have a buttload of games um, that I would love to play through, and especially before the new consoles come out, because... Um, all the newer games are gonna come out and especially in higher definition and all the cool stuff as well so and one of the games I'm really looking forward to come out well there's multiple games there's the Cold War which I'm hoping whenever it comes out be able to stream playing the beta um, as well uh, and then Far Cry 6 is gonna be coming out and I haven't played through Far Cry I think it's New Dawn um, believe I don't know it's one of the it's one that came out so I would love to play through my Far Cry games again and then play through the newer ones that I haven't played through especially the new one that's gonna come out Far Cry 6 because that one just looks like it's gonna be really interesting and I haven't I haven't watched a trailer or anything but because I normally don't but yeah all right let's continue so we got a buttload done you can see how much we got done it's actually a real like a lot um, but, yeah, um, now moving on to one of those easy parts I like to talk about. Oh boy, how are we going to do this? Crap. Okay, so, we're going to start off on the far left. Let's hope I don't run out of time. Or, actually, hmm, uh, this is always difficult because I don't know where to start at. Okay, let's grab us uh, some pink glazed terracotta, magenta terracotta, pink wool, pink concrete powder which are, we already have but uh, wait that's not what I meant to grab let's grab magenta terracotta and then purple terracotta just in case um okay so we are gonna go all the way up to the polished granite up here where there's three and this is where we're gonna start off at I'm not gonna do too much detail right now, like do too, too much of the detail stuff, because that might take a while, and I don't want to go too over time, over time too much. So we're just gonna start off simple. We're gonna place us magenta terracotta to left of the bottom, polished granite. We're gonna place us two pink concrete on top of it. One, two, to left of it. We're gonna place us pink concrete as well to the left of magenta terracotta we're gonna place magenta terracotta to the left of pink concrete all right and then oh boy oh, this this sucks this part sucks because uh, i hate to do big numbers because i always seem is always a chance of me messing up on it so just bear with me for a second i try to figure out how we can do this pretty easily without having to worry about messing up as much. And I think I know exactly what I want to do. Just. Because hmm. basically what I'm thinking about doing instead of counting and stuff. We're just going to build up. Instead. And that's how I do those. Because the freaking counting parts, um, whenever I try to do them, I always tend to mess up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to head over, we're going to head back down here, alright? And we are going to go, um, to right of the, where there's three pink wool, and then we're going to go one, or there's two right here. We're going to go onto the right one, and we're going to build up to where it's even with the other um, pink concrete that we have built out past the magenta terracotta so that is right up there so right about here and if you overshoot it it's okay just build all the way across to right the pink or the magenta terracotta and then you got this all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with our with our pink concrete we're gonna go up and like I said I don't like to do the long areas but I don't think I'm gonna do 
uh, what we just did over again. So we're just gonna go, or I'm not gonna do it just yet over again. So we're gonna go ahead and wanna go five to left, one, two, three, four, five, and this up left diagonal, my bad, um, from the pink concrete we just did. So one, two, three, four, five, like this, and then we're gonna go and do six this time. So to just continue to left, one, two, three, four, five, six. I broke up the areas that I wanna place because I, I don't wanna take a chance of messing up, but since it's a bit shorter than the other area, that's why I did that way. Okay, because there's a lot more this way, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working a bit over here. We're just gonna start adding in the details so that way once we um, finish adding in the detail, all we have to do is fill this part in. It's basically what it's gonna be like on both sides, just do a bit of detail and then fill it in. So we're gonna start underneath the second magenta terracotta over to the left. We are going to place us going down to underneath the pink concrete in the magenta terracotta, magenta terracotta. So one, two, one, two, like this. To right at the very bottom, magenta terracotta, we're gonna place pink glazed terracotta. We're gonna go ahead and fill in this gap with pink concrete. And then we're gonna place this pink concrete in between the polished granite right below the magenta terracotta. We're gonna place pink wool underneath the pink concrete. And then place this two pink concrete to right of the pink wool. From there, we're gonna place a pink glazed terracotta underneath the left pink concrete and then to the to the left underneath or to the left the pink wool and place this one pink concrete and one down to the left from here what we're going to do is we're going to take us our magenta terracotta we're going to go down four starting on the left of the uh, polished granite right here so we go one two three four we're going to go three to the left at the very bottom one two three underneath the far left we're gonna go to right um I'm gonna go to right three uh yeah so one two three and that's underneath the far left we're gonna go underneath the middle one and we go back up to here where it goes and we're gonna go up left diagonal and we go up three one two three From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take us pink glazed terracotta to write the magenta terracotta underneath the pink concrete in the pink glazed terracotta. We're gonna place this two, or underneath the pink concrete, my bad. We're gonna place this two pink glazed terracotta. One, two, two, two there we go. And then we're gonna place us pink wool on top of the polished granite. And then place this two pink concrete powder on top. No, uh, I'll get it later. Yep. I hate to get it later though because I feel like I'll forget. Okay, and then we're gonna place this pink wool to the left of the pink or uh, to the left of the uh, polished granite and then place this pink glazed terracotta underneath the pink wool and then place this down three pink wool underneath the pink glazed terracotta. One, two, three. To the right of it, we're gonna place us magenta terracotta going up three, one, two, three. And then to the right of the magenta terracotta, we're gonna place us pink concrete to right the very top underneath the pink pink terracotta we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place us two pink concrete down one two and then place us pink wool underneath it from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take us uh, magenta terracotta and place us it underneath the pink or the uh, polished granite over here on the right side from what we're gonna do there is on top of the pink terracotta right here, we're gonna place this magenta terracotta right here, and then down the right diagonal from the pink terracotta, we're gonna place this pink wool. From there, we're gonna take us down right diagonal from the pink wool, place us pink glazed terracotta, and then place down one more pink glazed terracotta to underneath it. We're gonna place us two pink wool going to the left, one, two, and then place this pink wool underneath the left pink wool. From there, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna place pink concrete or er, not powder pink concrete to right of the pink wool and then place us two pink wool underneath it okay and this is what we're just doing in little details and stuff and that would basically make it where we can um have this looking good so we're gonna go ahead and now just fill all this chunk that we just did um where we did the details inside of and stuff 
with pink concrete. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll be working on the next parts, continuing with the area to fill in. Hopefully, I'll get. Well, let me see actually how we're doing on time. Yeah, so I think we'll be ending a bit earlier. Actually, by the time I finish filling this in, it might be timed in. But in the next video, we'll be working on continuing this part on the left side, and then we'll be doing the same thing on the right side. And then we're just gonna we're gonna continue on from there to do our best to try to continue uh, working like this. And then I think uh, next video I'm gonna end up making is gonna be. Um, trying to teach everyone how to put the giant background in be behind their builds because well dang I know it's like it's annoying to have to place like the logs for example facing outwards and stuff so I do want to try to teach everyone how to um, how to have the the background there like or the black background like how I have it uh, with the fill command so yeah and then what I'll be doing from now on is whenever I go to start like a new pixel art tutorial for example I'll be telling everyone exactly how tall we're gonna make it and stuff and how big the backgrounds gonna be that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do so yeah so if you don't if you want the background or the the giant black wall behind it which once you get done building it you can remove it if you want I don't recommend removing it you know I, I mean actually you can remove it if you want it's not like it's gonna affect anything it's just the reason why I don't recommend moving it is because it probably take a good minute to remove it by hand and I don't recommend trying to remove it by commands unless you have the world copied um if you have the world copy then I definitely do recommend to remove it um, I'll probably keep mine there just cuz yeah, just cuz I like it and I can always build something on the back of it so yeah, that's pretty cool all right and we just got this little gap right here oops go back across right here and one and we're done we're done that part okay and you can see how much how far up we went already which we'll be doing the same thing on the other side and we still will be going up even higher um, well we're not in the next video but we'll be going up higher after that and next video we'll probably be doing going across continuing over there um, doing any parts we'll have to fill in and stuff and just continue working on the background I think it's looking amazing right now so um, hopefully you, uh, you can join us in the next video and we'll continue on with the background and stuff but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video for today if you have remember to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you never miss a pixel art tutorial I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next and Oof. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.